Boom. Welcome, guys. What is going on? Second Mass Effect 3 stream. Going live. Welcome, everyone. I'm ready. I've been reading chat. Welcome in. Josh Bliss. I love the, the respect of my name. Keep it coming. Let's kill some Reapers. I am bloody ready. Jagua, what's up? Travis, hey, man. How's everyone doing? Sarah, welcome. Welcome. What's going on, guys? How's everyone going? What's new? A man cannot miss the stream after a man has been given for... Hey, uh, Fireball, you know what's up. We feeding you well. Man's coming back. The Niv this was up on my phone and I heard you talk it from my pocket. <laughs> oh, Pudgy, I can't get rid of you even when I try. Doing good, Travis. Hey, Spider, it's super late for me in the US, but I'm sending love to your run of... To your run of one of my favorite games. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, dude. Have a good rest. Thank you for saying hello. Um, these uh, I've got some updates to fill you guys in too. I've obviously, obviously been playing a little bit by myself because I'm not doing a, a full playthrough, just sort of popping in. And I've made some notes of just things that's been happening. Um, really enjoying Mass Effect 3 at the moment. Uh, a lot. Uh, sometimes there are parts that are very dialogue heavy, just like, Talk to one person, talk to another, talk to one person. I spent like an hour and a half yesterday in the, Cit in the Citadel just talking to everyone. And I actually love, like the, the conversations are really good, but there is a point sometimes where I think I've got to be like, all right, cool. I've got to do a mission, enjoy that a little bit. Um, but definitely loving what Mass Effect 3 is about. And uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be looking forward to giving you guys some updates and then seeing how we go. I was told to save um, Eden Prime for today. So, I have been saving it in Prime for today. Um, let me just check where our moderator Sutton is at. Man is going to keep us safe from those who endeavor to spoil me. You're looking crisp and I love a dark vibe. Maybe you should implement four reactions soon. Or oh, Pudgy, you know why we don't do it? Because for the thumbnails, it doesn't look as good. But it is nice. He's sending essays about Fallout. Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds like sudden. Hang on, I'm, I'm, I'm abusing him. Night, let's watch. All right, I'm abusing him. Um, John, morning, man. How are you? Looking forward to the 100K stream tonight. That's funny you say tonight because for us, it's morning. So it's night right now. I'm going to play a few hours, go to bed, wake up. Then it's going to be your night and we've just woken up. Oh, the drink looks nice icy, as it should be. Anyone got any news? How's everyone been? How's everyone's weeks been? Good weeks? Everyone relaxed? Everyone enjoying any series in particular? Sutton says he's here. Well, I've not heard from you, Sutton, so you've shamed yourself. Well, actually, I actually have seen the, the 15 essays that you have currently sent me over there. It's 10 a.m. here now, and the stream is 1 a.m. Oh, so our next stream for you is... 1am, right, okay. Liking Shogun so far, loving Shogun so far, loving it, loving it. That might actually be my favorite series we are watching right now. Natalie, welcome. Hello. The rumor is J Jensen Ackles, Soldier Boy, is playing Commander Shepard in a series. Oh, dude, he would be perfect. I'm not going to lie, I'd love him. I love, I love Soldier Boy, I love the actor. Just watch Dead Men Tell No Tales reaction, 10 out of 10. Thank you, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. We enjoyed it a lot more than we were expecting based on what we heard. We really enjoyed it. I mean, a lot of people have their critiques about it, but we really enjoyed it. Yeah, Rudy, we started it over on Patreon. In a couple of weeks, it'll come over to YouTube as well. Um, been loving, loving it. That's actually my favorite thing we're watching at the moment. Not going to lie. It's a very Spartan show, but it's sick. Um won't get into it too much here, not to spoil it. Once everything comes in on YouTube, maybe we'll do a stream. We're talking about all the current shows that we've got out. Got to be careful with spoilers and such. Princess, welcome. I hope you and Pudge are doing well. We are doing well. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're actually really... Uh, I'll, I'll get to the Mass Effect stuff soon. I know I, I tend to rant a lot on these, so I'll try and get it in. But we're actually really excited. Um just for where the channel's going, where it's at now, and we've sort of become pretty efficient with our workloads and everything, you know, and we've made it at the moment, we got 
Stranger Things, you know, pretty much weekly movies other than the odd week that we just need to catch up on things. Um, Shogun, Gen V, and now Fallout, which will be a temp live show slot that will come and go that slot. But the point is like juggling all that. I mean, that's a lot. <laughs> we never thought we'd be doing that much on the channel, but we are managing okay. And uh, we were saying today how we're actually not overly stressed. We're having a good time. We are enjoying and we're getting, you know, we're pretty passionate about the things we're doing behind the scenes to bring that to the channel. So um, we're having fun. We're in a pretty good mood. We're excited to get Fallout out today and we're excited for all that to come to YouTube soon as well. Um, so yeah, things are, are, are good. I think uh, everything, the content flows work nicely for us and there's a lot more crossover for everyone, which is exciting too because people... You know, we're excited for more than one show that, that we've got, so they can enjoy that too. If Pudge is in the chat, I can't talk about a Hobbit feat, can I? Dora, you can. I like Death Note. Sad, it's almost over. I'm enjoying the pirate movies. Can't wait for your June movie reactions. I'm a big fan of the novels for years. Awesome, Travis. Excellent. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. You got the DLC order recommendation? Yes, I do. Even though I'm more, I was, I'm gonna, we, we, we got to chat about the DLC order because I, I may have gone a bit ahead on that one, but it's all right. Uh, yeah, Philly, man, we have. Um, honestly, we've just, at the moment, I've not wanted to commit to a, a gaming series with Pudgy and, you know, one something that we've got to stream every time we play because I think we're doing that already with our shows and we've got a good schedule, but I like to have my spontaneous time and downtime as well. So, um, I yeah, I haven't wanted to do that. Uh, I'm enjoying just streaming like Mass Effect and whatever I'm casually playing and occasionally a game with Pudgy. There might come a time when we're like, yep, yeah, we uh, we want to do something like that. We might play like a, a Telltale game or something like that. But at the moment, um, I'm just enjoying, just chilling. Do I think Mass Effect 3 is better than Mass Effect 2? I think so. I mean, it's hard to say. I can't comment on story-wise. But uh, I definitely, mechanically, gameplay-wise, yes, I think they've improved a lot. I think it flows really nicely. I like the power, the extra powers that you've got as Vanguard. Vanguard feels better overall. Feels like it flows better and all that. So I'm really enjoying all that. Just think though, House of the Dragons season two is so soon. I know. And not just that, we've got House of the Dragons season two and the boys season four going at the same time. That's going to be a, a wild period. I think for everyone just watching community channel, everything. It'll be just mayhem, like two beastly shows going at it. Be honest, Spartan, how many times did you die in the game when playing by yourself? I actually didn't die at all. I actually didn't die at all. Granted, I haven't done too many missions. Like, I haven't done too many combat missions. A lot, a lot of them were talking and stuff, but I didn't die at all. Sidon, where's my praise? Give my praise, bitch. I don't want to see Pudgy praise in my stream. I want to see Spartan praise. I trust that. Mighty Spider never dies. Love it, Dan. That's it. It's loyalty we need. Farbod. Welcome, my man. As uh, Sorry, that sounded stupid because I've obviously welcomed you. Welcome to the, as a channel member. How far have you advanced off stream? All right, let me fill you guys in. I think you died once. I don't think I did, uh, Pudgy. I don't think I did, but... All right, so... Let's think about what I've done. Actually, it's probably easier. So I talked to Thane. I wanted to mention that. I really liked that discussion. So Thane is dying. Uh, that was quite sad. It made me a bit sentimental for the events of Mass Effect 2. I was like, wow, like because I've played them back to back. It feels like yesterday that Thane was in his prime and we were dominating and taking on the collectors together. And now Thane's literally like out of commission. He's like, oh, days are beyond me. I'm dying soon. I'm just, you know, he's just training. Oh, he's training people, I think, at the hospital or something. And... That was, uh, yeah, that was that was sad. Um, I put Ashley in her place and it paid off. I was talking to Ashley. She tried to have a go at me with Miranda and I was not having having none of it. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm not doing Paragon for this. She pissed me off. I did the whole, and I love what Shepard said too. I did the option where he's like, you left me, remember? He's like, you know, don't even try and put it on me. Anyway, he put her in her place and I thought, look, I'm probably going to lose her here, but I, I couldn't live myself if I chose the simp Shepard. That's just not how... Spartan Shepherd works. Um, but actually came around. She was like, oh, all right, maybe I'm being a bit too hard. Like, you know, we just need some time to cool or whatever. I was like, all right, I can accept this. But I wasn't going to just submit 
based on false allegations that I left her when she came and shunned me left when I was with Cerberus. So your boy has to move on. Your boy's following the galaxy. He doesn't know when his final days are going to be. You know, he's got to get some, some, some love from somewhere. If Ashley's going to throw him in the bin, I'm going to get someone else. But Ashley did get a good glow up in this one. And I did tell Miranda as well that I'm still with her. So your boy's, you know, your boy's playing, uh, playing both sides. And we'll see what happens. Uh, so should be good. Um, put Ashley in her place. Yeah, so I, I talked to Miranda. I was talking to everyone. That was really cool, actually, talking to a bit of everyone. I talked to fucking, uh, what's her name? Is it Aria Talok or something? Ashley's still in hospital, yes. And yes, I'm playing a dangerous game. But I thought, I'll, uh, we'll see how we go. I've been back to the Normandy. I've been back to the Normandy. Um, I saw that nightmare sequence. That was sick. Love that. That was really cool. What are you drinking? Uh, it's called Sodaly. It's, um, let's see, I'll just read the ingredients. I actually really like it, but it's carbonated water, apple cider vinegar, plant-based sweeteners. No, I'm not a vegan, but that's just what they're writing here. Plant-based sweeteners, natural raspberry and lemongrass flavors. Anyway, it tastes really nice. Oh, black carrot extract. I like that because it was the apple cider vinegar, like digestion. It's also just a real, like, pretty healthy, but it's got, like, a bit of a nice raspberry flavor. There's a few flavors, passion fruit raspberry that I like. I drink kombucha sometimes, and this was, like, another alternative, just more like a, a tree drink. I don't think it because, I don't drink it because I think it's saving the world, but if I want a bit of flavor, it's a healthier version, and uh, I enjoy it. And I had it in the in the um, freezer for, like, half an hour so it can get nice and crispy. So that was good. Now, I here's where, uh, you know, I may have gotten a bit, this stream was brought to you by Sodaly. I <laughs> know, oh, I pretty much just sold them, eh? Sodaly, sponsor us. Um, not really, I'm bothered. But uh, what else? So I, I, I started the Levithian DLC. Now it's all good before you panic. I was playing at the sudden. He didn't realize I, I went ahead and did that one because I was trying to not do Eden Prime. I was warned not to do Eden Prime. I didn't realize Levi the, the one flaw of these games is they, they should... They should release DLCs when it's the appropriate time to do them. It's stupid that even in the remastered version, they just, it's just available from the get-go. That's a bit stupid. Luckily, I only got to the point where I think, so I, I, Dr. Bryson died straight away and I went to the planet where his assistant was. I don't remember his name and he was already dead and I saw the Levi Leviathan, I think it's called Leviathan. He destroyed the, the, the orb. Then I went back to the original base and, the daughter called and I was meant to go find her and that's where I am. And I was, I've been told to stop and save that for later in the game. So I'm not progressing any further with that. But I did I did find that really interesting. I was really enjoying that. Um, and now I should actually have a look. So let's go. Um, let's go here. Okay. So as you guys can see, we got this. Now you'll let me know if the, the, the you know, the voice to game ratios needs adjusting or anything. But um, so I've been doing Arya's quest with the clips and blood pack. Now there's one more left that I haven't done, the blue suns, because um, General Iraq is being a freaking pain in the ass. I, I think I might have to just kill him. If I don't kill him, I've, the only other option is I've got to find trophies or artifacts, sorry, artifacts to trade to get him the gun so he'll stop pissing off the blue suns if I want to do it nice. I want to do it nice, but I don't know. If I don't find some artifacts soon, I'm just going to get him killed because oh, a man's got to move on with the quests. Um, I did Palavan. I did Palavan as well. That was really cool. I really enjoyed the setting for that. That was actually very nice. I enjoyed Palavan. Um, and what else? That's where I'm at. So I think what I was going to do... Let me get these on. Would you play Mass Effect Andromeda? I think I will. I think I will um, play Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, I've heard, I, I don't expect it to be as good as this, but I think I'm into the Mass Effect. It'll be new gameplay-wise. I'll have some fun with it. I'm going to turn this fan on. Let me know if that's bothering you guys at all. Uh, I don't know if it affects my audio or, or not, so let me know if it, if it does. But if it doesn't, then I'll keep the fan on a little bit because... Unfortunately, it gets, it gets a bit stuffy in these rooms. 
Um, that's one thing I've noticed. You guys aren't really bothered about sponsors. I've never really seen Spartan tell us how to shave our before. <laughs> yeah, look, we are fortunate enough that we are able to support ourselves off YouTube and Patreon. So I'm not going to throw shade at those who, you know, uh, the sponsors helps out. But because we are there, you know, we are comfortable enough. I don't really enjoy it. Unless it's like a company that we really, really like, really believe in and um, obviously beneficial for us. But otherwise, in most cases, I'd rather just record more reactions than have to spend time recording a script um, and writing a script and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I'm not saying we're never going to do sponsors, but yeah, we're not too phased about them and we're fortunate enough to not have to do them right now, which is good. I'd rather focus on the, on the stuff that brought us here. I think I'll have fun with Andromeda. It'll, it'll, it'll help me deal with my post Mass Effect Blues because I feel like after this, it's going to be, you know, this is the only single player game I've played for a while now, actually probably since like, since mid-December last year. So there'll be a void after it and then this will give me the, um, the opportunity to, Andromeda will give me the opportunity to digest. And then I'm thinking about trying, um, there's a few games i got on my list. I'll read you guys, you know, you, you might be curious, you might not give a fuck, but I'll read it for you anyway. Uh, get out of this. Where is it? Games to play. So these are some of the games that are on my list to play in no particular order, just games that, I'll, that I'm like, eh, maybe I'll get around to that someday. I've got Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War, Dragon Age Trilogy, Kingdom Come Deliverance, um, Divinity Sin Original 2 and Baldur's Gate 3, those like together. Uh, I would think that would be fun to call up with Pudgy, but I don't know. I make no promises and I definitely wouldn't play through the whole thing. This game's way too big to play the whole thing on stream, um, but I would pop in. Uh, Assassin's Creed Remastered, the SEO collection, because I grew up with one of them when I was younger and I never played them all. And then I, yeah, I've just thought about going back maybe. Um, Andromeda, I've thought about replaying Red Dead Redemption, the original. I know there wasn't really a remaster, it was like a port, but when it's cheap, I might play that again because I played that when I was very young. I haven't played Uncharted 4, so I've thought about, I've played the first three. Dishonored, um, looked good. Recently, someone sent a video, I think it was Sardin, or someone sent a video on Discord, and I was like, damn, that actually looks pretty fun. And Fallout 4 slash New Vegas, one of those... In the recent light of Fallout, it's reignited my interest that I might try those at some stage. But, you know, these are a million games. So I wouldn't, I don't know what will come and when and if it will get streamed or whatever. I'm just sort of sharing what, what, what I've been writing down on my list. And Dragon's Dogma 2 is a question mark. I don't know. That one, it's not super priority, but I was interested in that at a, at a point in time. My first stream with you during your Mass Effect journey. Who did you lose in Mass Effect 2? Uh, Versace the Great. Do I? You don't. I don't happen to know you in real life, do I? Because you've got a um, a name. Uh, someone, someone I knew. But um, I didn't lose anyone in Mass Effect 2. Actually, I, I did it really well. Dragon Age almost killed you. Why? Fable are good games. They're yeah, Fable Mad Old though. And I don't have an Xbox. Out of all the Dragon Age, out of all those, Dragon Age is a must. Baldur's Gate 3 would be nice to do after that. I've been told I'm not ready for Baldur's Gate 3. I'm about to prove you bitches wrong. Lots of Dragon Age fans in here. Well, it makes sense. Since they're Mass Effect fans, that would be the audience. You need to play Assassin's Creed Odyssey and play as Spartan. I've played Odyssey. I played it when it came out. Um, the opening scene was pretty sick. I didn't, the game I thought was like just average, but it was pretty good. Would you mod New Vegas or Fallout 4 if you do end up playing them? Uh, look, Fallout 4, I'd like to get on my PS5, so I don't know if I mod. I prefer, the, I prefer story games on my console. Vegas, I don't have an Xbox, and I don't have a PS3. I think I have to get it on PC. So in that case, I guess I wouldn't mod it to make it look better. Um, but yeah, just kind of depends. Just kind of depends, all right. So, um, I think... That Let me just see. Uh, let me just test. We've got to keep Jake in daycare. Listen, do whatever is best for your family. Just do it soon. Things are bad okay. out there. 
Full that focus next gen upgrade, yeah. Thank you. Alright. I may need how is the um Is the game audio okay? Does it sound quiet? I don't know my I think I know what I need. There we go, I reckon it's the um the fan was making it. Oh, but I do like ambience mode. I'll see how the cutscenes are. Then I got noise cancelling. Which is even better from the fan, but Alright, so, um, oh, I also talked to this chick here, who claims to be, um, <clears throat> don't hate me, uh, Liara, I forgot her name, fuck, I, I forget the name sometimes, but, who claims to be Liara's father, I don't know how that works, but that's the different species, different rules, I suppose, and, uh, she threatened me, I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to put Renegade, she's like, you know, I wouldn't let you, I wanted to do the Renegade option so bad, but I'm like, I can't. I want one playing Paragon, but I do wish they were a bit, I don't know, not as brutal because sometimes I just want to do that Renegade option so badly, it just fits. The Last Kingdom should have been the storyline for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Oh, I haven't seen that yet, but yeah. Hello, Jay. Welcome. It's, um, not... Yeah, I'll see how the, how the cutscenes are, and if it's a bit short, I might bump it up a little bit. But Isaria duo sexes. Howard, welcome. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna say you're all feasting with that Patreon lineup drop and two streams within 15 hours of each other. <laughs> Pudgy. Um, where are we? Eden Prime. I've been waiting for this one, man. Cerberus discovered a Prothean artifact on Eden Prime land on the planet to recover the artifact on Eden Prime okay let's go do that I don't think there was anything else that I was doing going to do here I tried to be talking to everyone on the ship and everything before the stream because normally I forget and then I do them on the ship uh, so this time I was like no I'll do them before that way we don't waste time with that shit oh yeah dude this bitch pissed me off she keeps talking about how she's going to end the, her, her, her husband's on war. And she keeps talking about ending it with him. With an Asari that doesn't even want, want her in the end. Shit story. Um, Eden Prime, the only DLC to play early games. Should never have been DLC. Alright, high praise. Let's go Normandy. So when I'm talking to you guys, you're not getting wind interference in the back. Pudgy, you can't hear any like that. Huh. Yes, sir. Spartan getting all kinds of triggered. It was cool. I've talked to... Yeah, I was talking to a lot of people in the Citadel. Like, talking to um, Thane and then, and then um, Miranda and a few other people. Just felt nice, man. Audio is great on your own. Okay, cool. Because I know when we sit back, maybe it's because I'm, I'm more in now. When we sit back, uh, I can't have the fan on because it shows in the mic a little bit. Because it's right. It blows into it, unfortunately, the way it's set up. So that's good. Return to Normandy. I do love too when you get to the Citadel. It's more of like a procedural thing. I've got new messages in my terminal. Omega. Shepard, I'm ready to discuss that pet project. I mentioned when we spoke in Purgatory, come to Doc 42 on the Citadel, a bar named Bray will be waiting. But I need to kill... I need to make a decision with the other guy, don't I? Before doing that? Anyway. It's not important right now. Don't know why I thought the game isn't loud enough. Might just be that I have no audio yet. Uh, mass relay. Chav, my man. Yes, welcome. Oh, artifact, artifact. These might be the artifacts I need to do that mission that I was talking about. Maybe I will be able to save that guy's life.
Cerberus lab. That's going to be Eden, Eden Prime, I think. The game already does seem to be quiet, but we'll be easy to turn. You know what's interesting? Let me try something. Uh, I want to see something. So I did change something. Where was it? Properties. I don't know. I'll see. But I can I can bump the, the audio up if need be. So don't stress. Um, you know, let's bump it up now and see. I bumped it up a little bit. I can bump it up still a lot more too. So we'll see. Um, I found something. Let's see. Uh, Watson is known in human media for two things: the particular tides brought on by a large moon, and the bur bureaucratic snafu over which Earth nations got to settle there first. Watson is a garden world first discovered in 2165 CE. I don't know what C stands for. Uh, with credit claimed by the Chinese People's Federation, the United North American States, and the European Union. The Systems Alliance brokered the infamous Reykjavik, Reykjavik compromise, allowing limited colonization from each coalition in cities compromised in populations from each nation. Oh, I don't want to read all this. It's almost done. Watson itself trends colder than Earth with a temperature zone measuring about 30 degrees latitude in either direction. On the equator, its life does not easily map to Earth's evolutionary areas. Some islands have species that resemble terrestrial placental mammals others are overrun by anthropods it is estimated that at least two more generations of xenozoologists will be needed to properly yada 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 okay so that's gonna also i can do these in um what you check by there it is So this is very different. I don't have to buy probes in this. Lost and found. Javelin missile launchers. Oh shit. Is that on my um, ship? I came here to lead, not to read it. Fucking exactly, man. See, he gets it. Uh, Cerberus low. Let me just go to that Reaper alertness. Oh, it's got a little bar. That could you see a war effort? Ah, okay. Oh, here we go. So this is Eden Prime, I'm guessing. Did I go to the right place? Like, is... Sanctum? It's not Eden Prime. This is the wrong mission. Fuck. Sudden, where were you? Now you tell me? Oh... Why they need to have sudden replaced? Man can't do the simple things right. Let's go back. Exodus cluster. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like the, the map outlay of this with the missions. The missions were a lot clearer in Mass Effect 2. I don't like the way that um they're laid out. Even when they're laid out, it tells you not the mission name, which is what the journal tells you. It tells you what you're doing, which is fine, but it's just confusing. You look at the mission name, you go, I want that mission. You're like, oh, hang on, read the mission. You know, it's just not very uh, intuitive. Exodus. <laughs> Don't worry. Sudden, uh, knows he deserves it. All right. Um, Eden Prime was attacked by a Geth force led by the Rogue Spectre Saren. I remember, I remember this place. Commander Shepard responding to the attack encountered a Prothean beacon that warned of imminent reaper invasion and his thanks to this beacon and the commander's quick action at the galaxy and any chance of survival today. Although the reapers crushed past much of the Exodus cluster in their plan to take Earth, it's clear the war has come to Eden Prime. Distressions have jammed all available frequencies. Fires burn in vast swaths across the 
arable land and its once extensive monorail system is twisted metal. Cerberus has much to lose if word of their ruthless attack on the human colony gets out. What they stand to gain must be equally valuable. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, Edie is pretty cool. She uh, became this. I like, I like Jane, I'm not gonna lie. Incendiary ammo, fortification, frag grenade, I like. And that armor on James is pretty sick. What? Confirm squad selection. I can only have one? Base is pure biotic. I feel like Liara or James would be the pick for this. You know what? I feel like James would be better because it's... um. Liara is pre-selected. Oh, you have to use Liara. Right, okay, then I'll pick James. Yeah, right. She's the Prothean Specialist. So does weight here matter? Like, if I carry less guns, is that considered better? Oh, power recharge speed. Oh, shit, I'm carrying too much. Oh, damn. Okay. So, I got shotgun, pistol, SMG. I don't think I need that. I mean, power recharge speed plus 80%. That's huge. I'll suss it. I don't think I need... Uh... You know, some machine gun good. Okay. We'll see how we go with these three. Um, except... What's this? Oh, this is Shepard, James, Avenger, and Shotgun. I think it's pretty good. Boost kinetic coil generates increasing shot penetration. Yeah, sure. Increase magazine capacity, allowing more shots. Yeah. And then that's pretty good. Um, and let's add some mods to her. Reduce weapon weight, increase headshot damage. I think that's superior lightweight, makes weapon, replace weapon parts, making the weapon less obtrusive and easier to handle. I mean, it's better than nothing. She double heavy pistol, submachine gun. Increase weapon stability. And that's pretty much the same loadout I'm using. Sorry, Zero Ops, we're pretty much mainly talking and chatting about where we're at um, and what I've done prior and stuff, but you ain't missing. Uh, you're a surgeon with a handgun. Alright, confirm. Um, I don't want to touch any of these just yet. Uh... Upgrade cost five. Should I pump up singularity? Increase recharge speed, increase singularity, hold duration, increase impact radius. Dark energy that traps and dangles enemies caught in this field. Can I damage them while they're caught in their field? Because in Mass Effect 2, you used to not be able to damage them. Um, I do like Carnage, which is going to cost six. Increase damage to armored units by 65%. Increase damage by 50%. All damage to armored. I reckon just go over all damage. If you use a body attack on the floating singularity, people, it creates a combo explosion, yes. I was like, I'm going to use biotic attacks on the people that are floating. Oh.
Oh, let's go. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where you went up against Saren and the Geth for the first time, no? Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. I remember Eden Prime. <laughs> Seems like more than just three years ago. How bad? A lot of dead civilians. Lost one of my men, Jenkins, to a Geth drone. Reports said Saren had bombs set up to wipe out the whole colony. Yep, I'm not gonna lie, Eden Prime was a weird one for me because I wasn't really into the game when we were here, but I do remember it. I got into the game a bit after that. Not on my watch. Damn straight, loco. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone near the dig site. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but... Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Appreciate it. All part of the service, Commander. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. The sky, baby. This is the A team. Before Cerberus knows we're here. Hey, you like my suit? I made it blue with the uh, little purpley pink lights in the back. Okie dokie. That's becoming iconic. It's becoming very quickly iconic. Hey, look at the suit. It's not bad. It's clean. On, we need to find the dig site. Um, what are we starting with? Let's start with this. Now, let's activate this. I'll activate your warp ammo. I'll activate your incendiary ammo. I like how I just hear everyone locked the lock in. The Geth attack. They'll come back from this. The city on Earth where I grew up was hard and dirty. I can see it as a war zone. Eden Prime doesn't deserve this. Nobody does, but they'll be stronger for it. I like how uh, he calls me Loco. The chat with James was cool. We had, we had like a fist fight while sort of getting to know each other. That was really cool. Some of the sequences in this, the character interactions in this are much better than like the best they've been. So our, um, just the chats overall, they're a lot more cinematic, a lot more immersive. You know, the thing with ED on the ship when she when we ship went down and just those those live events, you can tell this. I think this game was made more in the era when I started to get into, into single player games, 2013. So it's more familiar to me. I definitely played single player games before that, but not a lot of your iconic ones that you guys liked. And this really just shows a lot more of that familiarity that I'm like, okay, yeah, this is the kind of stuff that I got used to when I was gaming. Because on PS, like when I had PS3, PS2 was only single player, but it was titles like, I don't know, Medal of Honor, Call of Duty, just, I didn't know about the other ones. PS3 was a lot more multiplayer for me. I was a teenager, everyone was just playing online, so. I didn't experience a lot of the games that you guys were playing. You know, you sort of just want to play with your friends and stuff, but later I started to appreciate story. We've taken more able-bodied men and women from pacified neighborhoods. The colonists generally have accepted the story that they have gone to perform tedious but safe manual labor in a Cerberus research camp on the other side of the planet. And where we increase food rations as payment for the work, most of the complaints died out. Maintain a story as long as possible. We don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony. And if these families knew that we're never going to see their sons and daughters again, there's no way they cooperate. Where the fuck are they taking them, dude? Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. Look at that. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. Hey, Liara. You ever find dinosaurs while you're digging around? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Uh, you were joking. Hey, I just like dinosaurs. <laughs> there. That's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. I really thought I was supposed to go here, but... 
Maybe I'll come there later on. Looks like a place you can go. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean. You mean a collector? Those things the Reapers turned the Protheans into? No. An original, unmodified Prothean, who's still alive. No way! You're right. That doesn't sound possible. No freaking you way! You the Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. Holy shit! What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Uplifted, huh? Like when the Solarians helped the Krogan to evolve a little... faster. Yes. Judging by the dig sites like the Prothean Archive on Mars or here on Eden Prime, the Protheans wanted other species to learn. It's clear that they prize knowledge, growth, and cooperation with the rest of the galaxy. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Yeah, damn straight it does. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah, <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Let's Stupid Cerberus. But how would they have just left it there on the man? The pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Oh, damn. Heads up. Here we go. They want to square up. Oh damn! Takes out my whole freaking. Can't use my power. Why can't I use my power? God damn. All right. Oh shit, now pack us meat. More of them come back. Does it sound good for you guys? Hey, Caraxus, no worries, man. Thank you for coming. Josh, welcome. This does look cool, dude. It's a sick game. Um, Maybe back can lower my volume a tad. Um, audio good for you guys, because it's a bit louder than I usually got it, but I think it packs a punch. That's not. Let me just find the pod data. Hang on, I just want to explore all the areas. Is this your first? Yeah, it is, uh, Ben. Sir. Sounds good. Oh, good. As long as the game packs a punch and you still hear me clearly enough. Local resistance heavy in the south and west section of the colony. We've pulled most of our troops from the north neighborhoods to assist. All remaining troops in the north neighborhoods continue standard, standard patrol activities to maintain the illusion of a large presence in the area. If the locals knew we were unst understaffed, they could do serious damage. More intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. 
Okay. I'm essentially helping their war efforts. By what I do here. I think. Oh shit. That ain't can climb up here. Oh shit. Pod data is here, but I haven't searched everywhere yet, so hang on. Oh, fight's not even over. Where's our boy? I was just sitting there like an idiot. Uh, and we've done this area. I just want to make sure I check. That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. Okay, so they couldn't open it without killing him. How arrogant have you got a server has got to be that you've got one of a guy from the most advanced civilized time in your history and you're going to try and use them all for yourself. Especially since the Protheans seem pretty, like, pretty selfless or pretty considerate of other species. And Cerberus is the opposite. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. Son of a bitch, this was somebody's home. Uh, bunch of snakes. Oh shit. Why am I not using my shotgun, dude? What? Am I an idiot? Oh damn. Fuck. There. That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. Just making sure I clear the area. Need the war efforts to go well. Need to make sure I got all the proof. Down the D-pad? Okay, I didn't know that. Oh, I think now we're back to where we were before. His eyes are resonating. Is 
Is this the original Prothean attack? No. Like, when the Reavers attacked Protheans? Or is it present? I'm glad they brought that back. I thought they were going to forget about the whole visions. I never thought our empire would fall. It I think this is the Prothean. Oh, it is. We will sleep here until the Reapers return to dark space. Then we will rise a million strong. For the empire. For the empire. Get to your stasis pod. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life forms. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Oh my god, these are all the collectors. Holy shit. Wow, this is back then, dude. That's trippy. I've got the signal. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And the signal they used. Perfect. Damn, let's go, baby. We just need to figure out how to physically open the pod. Oh, sick. Find the rem remaining pod data. Oh, that was sick, dude. Welcome, Jacob. Damn. Um, there's, there's something like special about going that far back and seeing what happened to the previous Wraith. When the Reapers attacked, I'm not going to lie, in this game, it sort of like took me a while to adjust it, 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 that the Reapers were just like here. Like for two games, they've been this scary unknown and then they're just here from the get-go. I'm like, what the fuck do we do now? Like, they're just here. I don't know. I always thought they were going to attack near, like, near the last second half of the game and then you sort of got to deal with it. But they're just from the get-go, the whole game's based on it. I'm like, oh, wow. We're at this point. I know to go in there. I came from the right side, so I just want to have a quick check in here. Make sure there's nothing else that I need to pick up. Like the armor? There's some cool armors to buy, but I don't have a lot of money right now, so eventually I will buy them. But right now I was yeah, I was enjoying this armor and I do like just the original mock lie. The original design. Got a word from our source within Eden Prime's resistance movement that we can expect an attack on our security center between ten and eleven tomorrow night. They're pulling in forces from across the colony. This gives us the perfect chance to destroy their leadership. Once the attack is contained, allow Dr. William Combiata to escape. Firing the army's shots to keep it realistic. He's given us good information and with luck, the locals will see him as a daring hero. If there are any men to escape the Cerberus track, they might even put him in charge. Right. They really get a lot of doctors in and around, don't they? They all like sort of cyborg. Need some gold lights to make the suit pop. Oh, gold could be good. I like the, the pink purple though. All this Prothean backstory was hidden behind DLC when the game was released. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. This feels like essential... This feels like essential stuff. Give Eden Prime's resistance movement a real chance to push Cerberus out of their colony. This is sick. I can't imagine like not having this in the game. So AA's been all over the place and back then, huh? I thought it was more like the last five year kind of thing. Let's see how we go here. Kit. Is this a second one? We're gonna get more vision? Hang on, let me suss. Okay, we got armor, let me get. Okay, another vision. Sick. Oh shit, man. Ah. 
The Prothean's never sort of chance. I love how they just like take it out the collectors easy though. Oh man, they had good biotic abilities. Are their biotic abilities stronger than any anything the Asari have? Oh, look at that. No man left behind. I love it. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life bots. Shit. Both things look sick. Third of our people. Third of our people, so there were less than a million of them the only. Hostiles detected. Then all forces to the north. Maybe just this planet. Damn, they had no warning, nothing. If they had warning. Yes. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. Ah, uh, so if the Protheans had warning, they could have beaten the Reapers. Is that, is that what we're, uh, the, what, what the insinuation is? Spartan, love your work, mate. How's your gaming session going? Happy, happy Friday, Mavzi. Welcome, my man. It's going very good, dude. Very good. I'm doing some awesome DLC from Mass Effect. Uh, Mass Effect Three is epic. Look at it. Look at this, for example. Look at this. Charge in, then boom. Oh, dude, I'm about to die. Ha! <laughs> That's not going well. Okay. Uh, I tried to show off and I'm about to die. I think I'm actually dead. Oh, I can use it. I forget that using that ability takes away all my shields, so I got a bit excited there, but uh. Yeah, baby. Balls to the walls. Yeah, sort of uh, got a bit excited with that charge. A bit beyond my pay grade, but we made it. Pudgy, settle down. Or you may get banned from the stream. Ammunition. Salvage. Alright, oh, settle down. I'll get to you guys in a second. Anything? Anything here that we're missing? Nah. No. Why would I let me? Man, I pressed that three times. To reactivate incinerary every time. In Mass Effect 2, we just stay activated. Boom, bitch! Get out the fucking way! Alright, that's looking good. Switching weapons? Yeah, but I never used to do that. Oh, fuck. Get down, get down! My best bet is to go in there. But then I gotta go back out of here. How do I? Far out, 
out, dude. Uh... Oh! Do I waste my thing? I know I need. Oh, man. Stupid fucking turret, dude. Two of them? Oh my god. Turrets are so annoying. Oh, so my health won't replenish. Oh shit, this is different. My health won't replenish now beyond that point. God damn it. I want this James to get himself killed. Okay, so the squad factor is a big factor. My, my bad, sudden. I just realized now how big the squad factor is. Alright, shit. This game is definitely a bit more challenging than Mass Effect 2. You're just... There are some new mechanics I have to get my head around. We have to find another way across. These guys are all dead. Nothing in here? Okay. Hey, look, there's Jonas. Find another way to the pod. Um... what I was. I can't look at the map. Bit of a stupid feature. So... Oh, I can go down here? Okay. It really wasn't that hard. I just didn't know I could go down. Doesn't soldier your health recharge automatically? Maybe if I upgrade it. I'm, oh, in soldier you mean class? Maybe, I'm not soldier, I'm vanguard. Pod. It's all right. I'll, I'll, try, I'll replenish my health when I need to, because right? when I'm in dire straits, it can do my, my armor as well. Safe because some bullshit's gonna happen now. I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Lots of bogeys inbound, Commander. We'll have to hold this position. I'm shocked. Yeah, commanding your squad is a lot more important than this. It makes a huge difference now. Affirmative. Oh yeah, big difference. I like it. This was the more cha most challenging of the three. 
And like I've actually got to like use all the mechanics more. Whereas in Mass Effect 1 and 2, I think I could get away a lot without using all the mechanics. Baby, she found more. Oh fuck! I don't realize how many guys there were. Looks like we've got a second to catch our breath. Wish my corner man was here. I could use an ice pack. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there. If anybody's low, there's a Cerberus supply cache in the building next door. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. The building next door, but which building? Heavy mech, don't let it get close. Oh. Is my health gonna replenish? Oh, that was I thought I used first aid, no? Dude, what is that mech? weapons like I used to. Oh shit. Oh. Thank God, dude. Can you res? Oh, you can revive. Nice. Good night, bitch. Oof, okay. There. You can open the life pod now. That was a bit harder than I get this ammo. Yeah, Mass Effect 3 is putting me to my paces. Well, we can open the life pod. Let's save again because I don't know if I have to make some big choice here. I feel like I need the upgrades a lot more in this, which is exciting. Here we go. There, you've got it. A living Prothean. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. But if it's DLC, tell me the Prothean probably dies. That sucks if they lose it. we lose the one Prothean we got. <laughs> oh shit. Careful, he's confused. I mean, 50,000 years, fair enough. We'll do that to you. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been a few minutes. No, the bunker is falling. There is wow. no 
There are pawns online. Those soldiers are still alive. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now. So you don't even have to get open. Hopefully he lives. Will he join my crew? That'd be sick. If he did. But I'm worried. Just you. You can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, not to understand your language. Damn, they are advanced, so man. You were reading me while I was seeing our last moments. Our failure. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Damn, I can't believe That's we're actually making a product. This is sick. Human. They I'm cover everything here. Natives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. I mean, I get it, man. It's a bit of shock, but damn, we're literally meaning like a living god, essentially. I mean, these guys are a living Prothean. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. That's crazy, dude. We've got a both in the team now. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. I'm just waiting for something to go wrong, but I'm hoping not. How are they going to lock this man up? He's like literally the... I get, I get it. We don't trust him. What's but... the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. Nah, fuck that shit. What are you doing? But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. Oh shit. Is he reading my intent? You. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Wow, they're way advanced, dude. Forget it. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons. Yes. Which... That was the original one that we had seen. You found one. 
You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why won't they heed it? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. Oh, shit. Shepard's growing up. Then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. Let's find out the truth about this. How is this not part of the main game, dude? This is essential. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art. Killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. I mean, I guess we could use a bit of that. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. I get it, but... Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dried. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. I get it. I get it. Wow, I really do. This silence is your answer. Oh, shit, dude. This guy's epic. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans sending them to their grave. Oh, if shit. You don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that. Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? Damn, so he still considers us primitive. Almost like cavemen compared to what they're able to do. That's insane. Let me suss chat a bit because this is sick. The one on I lost with Virgil is on a different site than the soldier with Victory. This DLC is sick and the Leviathan one that I'm halfway through was also sick. Dude, the DLCs from Mass Effect 3 are amazing. I can't imagine not having them. Like you guys beat Mass Effect 3 and then DLC came out? Because it's weird, the DLC is not post-game stuff, it's during game stuff. So they release the DLC after you beat the game, it's like an extra bit, I don't know, that's weird. Blue Light Diaries, I'm good man, welcome. Let's catch up and chat a little bit. Yeah, damn dude, this is like, some of the DLC was out at launch. Shit. It was pre-order day one DLC, right. Yeah, dude, I don't know, man. I can't imagine not having this stuff. This shit's epic. Wow, I've loved this, dude. I didn't think that we we're going to get a, a Prothean on the team. I mean, finding out the collectors of Protheans was sick enough. And now you actually get a Prothean on your team, a living one you can chat to. Oh, baby. Oh, yes. I was hoping there would be a lot of dialogue choices here. I was hoping. Okay. Um, let's start basic. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. 
There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. So, so the conflict against the Prophe has lasted centuries? Holy shit! That's how good the Protheans were. They literally were able to hold out for centuries against the Reapers. That's a long time. So the Reapers essentially fucked up a little bit in the sense that they let the Protheans evolve too much. Whereas, so now they're getting us a lot more of a primitive stage. But he knows about our culture. So we were around when the first attack happened, but we were too primitive to worry about. Is that what they did? So I wonder what the... If the theory is correct, the Reapers are made off each species they kill, then I wonder what a Prothean Reaper looks like. That must be a fucking strong as, strong as shit. Species right now were too primitive back then to worry about. Okay. But they... I'm assuming they let the Prothean... Like, they didn't realize how advanced the Protheans have gotten because they... The Protheans got close to building a weapon that could have defeated them. Like, given that we're giving a resistance, we're getting slaughtered, but the Protheans were, like, like leagues ahead of where we're at now. They obviously probably got a bit carried away. Teddy Rooster, you fucking malaka. Teddy Yasu, welcome. Oh, Teddy, one of these days you're going to come beating. You're going to come beating. But welcome, Mr. Teddy. You love the Citadel DLC. Yeah, that'll be sick. Guess explaining more details you played damn modern humans are 200,000 year old we would have been around for three to four reaper cycles oh shit three to four reaper cycles god damn the best DLC at the end of the game Malaka man I haven't heard that's the way I yeah, Malaka is um, I'm Greek oh Teddy Rooster enjoy hell as a man fight that good fight uh, is my is my um okay? Is my cam in the way? You know, you guys you guys can see everything. Um, memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. I feel like I could do all of these. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conform to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Damn. Several years ago, we found a Prothean B.I. that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. I remember these these people survived? No. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. Damn, so this man was born in the middle of the war. So that's how good the Protheans are, to be fair. I don't imagine the Reapers expected to spend 200 years fighting. Fire, that's huge. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated. Yeah, I didn't know about that process shit. They turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Damn. Prothean War. Um, your mission. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? 
The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us. And the Damn, Reapers discovered dude. our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. And they clearly did. I think. Yeah, <laughs> I think. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have? And can you tell me about your religious beliefs or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. Fuck. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Shit, the Protheans were strong but they seemed very uh dictator like a dictatorship they you know you either joined them or you were discarded so they were strong but they were not as nice as they were made out to be or maybe just the way i interpreted it are you saying you enslaved the other species any could oppose us if they wished and if they had won they would have ruled many tried none succeeded I had no idea Protheans were so severe. It yeah, me too. Necessity. Very early, we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time, the Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago in ways we could never imagine. Shit. So how did the Reapers even... Well, I wonder if we'll get like origins on the Reapers and stuff. How they were even created. What was there before the Reapers? Because they're not organic. So for machines to have been created, someone would have had to create them, no? We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people, imparting experience through touch, the chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. So could you read something about this room? No way. There was liquid. A form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was oh, shit. Prone to violence. Um, Grunt. Impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Shit. Where is Grunt? Well, I actually forgot about Grunt. Must be on their pl home planet. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you. 
witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. Damn, dude. So it must him not maybe not as literally, but probably maybe, maybe somewhat close for him talking to us. It's like it's almost like talking to a chimpanzee, or like a I don't know, like a six or eight year old child. All info of proteins you got from Laura, and she did mention that she may have projected it based on her people. Laura is like if we saw the last Herex alive and can speak English. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Hamza, welcome, my man. Sudden, your efforts are appreciated. By that logic, imagine how the Reapers feel. True, but yeah, true. It's hard. The uh, Reapers is just. Fucking pretty much. Reavers is next level. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. Okay, I think we got everything. Shit. I almost want to talk to this guy all day. I just want to find more questions. Like, the, the, the history is so rich. I see why people got sucked into this. Because it, it does feel like a freaking... It's got its own entire religion and history and everything. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved. <laughs> They're amphibian. They used to eat flies. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. Then welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. Damn. Javik, welcome, bro. That was sick. I, um... Where's, um... You know who I'd love? Hang on, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Where's, um... Oh... Who's the junk... Oh, I forget... Oh, I'm bad with the terms, man. The junk the car. Junk the car? It was the Asari who was like... Fuck, what was her name? Um, she was really strong. You got a new gun? Oh, thank you. I sneezed. Just a car. Yes. Samara, that's the one. Where's she at, man? Oh, I look at my... Um... Oh, I got another eight points. Um, so this is my biotic charge. Increase barriers by an additional 50% after a successful biotic charge. You give biotic charge a chance of not triggering a cooldown. I'm going to do this because... That'd be good. No spoiler spider. No, no, no. I'll, I'm just more thinking aloud. How do I... Uh... No, no, no. How do I equip it? Hang on, let me see. Anything so else wants to talk? Lost. So much has changed. And yet the Reapers are still here. Okay, I think he's done with me for now. Uh, I'll figure out how to equip the new gun. Damn, dude. A lot has happened. That DLC was epic, I'm not gonna lie. That was really good DLC. I did not, I did not expect. It just didn't occur to me. But every time, every time something occurs, I'm like, oh yeah, shit, that's like exactly what we needed. And I didn't realize how important it was. On loadout screen, like always, yeah. So I'll see. Yeah, I'm hoping to see my former teammates, especially some from um number one. 
biggest story in 50,000 years that I can in no way talk about? Say, so, yeah, I've seen him. Just wondering. You know, in the old days, they didn't have automatic cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. Oh, so now they got filters and bullshit. Gizly! We got the Jamaican Prothean already. <laughs> yeah, he's got the Jamaican accent. I like it. Anything down here? I remember this is where Jack used to be. But I don't think nobody's down here no more. Not yet. Not until I build a bigger crew. I do find it interesting and a bit funny that in every uh, Mass Effect game, the way that you essentially reset your crew and you've got to like start again. Um. Jack was a weird character. I did, honestly, I didn't really warm to Jack. Jack for me was pretty forgettable. I think if I had to pick one character to die, it'd be Jack. You're positive you don't want to come over and talk. No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus. I'll be fine, Liara. Just gathering some thoughts. All See, right. this kind of stuff is sick. Like Mass Effect 2 didn't have these. These live chats are awesome. Hey, um, they make a lot of jokes about Garrus and the, uh, why am I forgetting all the terms? Calibrating in this. Um, is that like Mass Effect 3 making a nod to the joke in Mass Effect 2 of Garrus always calibrating? Yeah, only good Jack is Captain Sparrow, agree. It is? That's pretty funny. It's like, it's like they just forgot to give him some extra dialogue in the end. A Prothean. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean, Shepard. There's so much he could tell us. Awesome, Farbod. Thank you, brother. Good to see you, man. We will see you tomorrow. Can't do any more upgrades right now. Please enjoy your day. Let's see where Garrus is at. So like they were talking. I've seen a lot of crazy things in my time on the Normandy, Shepard. A talking Reaper, a talking plant, and now a real live talking Prothean. Hell of a thing. Waking up to find everything you know is destroyed. But. I imagine the chance to get some payback is consolation. Doubt you and I will ever get a second chance against the Reapers. Yeah, damn. And imagine uh, no one had discovered him. Man would have just sat there. Frozen until the next cycle. I don't know. Crazy. Isn't that weird? Like, minutes has passed. And yet it's been 50,000 years since your people are like, holy shit. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I wanted to help with his scars, but I think he actually likes them. Reassign power bonuses, reassign powers. Interesting. Oh yeah, what happened to Legion? I guess we'll see him at some point too. Y your crew just, just goes. And I'm like, okay, like I don't know. <laughs> It's weird, but I guess part of the fun is rediscovering where they're all at. If, if Rex and Grant are friends, that'll be sick. Because Rex was a um, much smaller part of Mass Effect 2 than I expected him to be. Don't make me 
an anchor. Promise me, Steve. <laughs> no, don't. Commander. Sorry. Didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. You were talking to him when the collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. I am. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion. This hit. is Jake's There's cousin? No and the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way, and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but. Well, to be honest, I've never felt as alone as I do right now. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here, anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard, I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. Yeah, Shepard knows, man. Damn. Uh, is Jenkins Jacob's name? I didn't realize Jacob Jacob's Jacob. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why I thought of um, Kaiden when you said that. I assumed his name was Jake Jenkins. I didn't know <laughs> that was Jacob's surname. What Carl said is true. You can usually click on people more than once to get more dialogue. Oh, really? Sure. Sure. Okay. Damn. Oh, that's right. You can, you can get what you need here, but you can just um, it just costs a little bit more. I think. This is actually really handy. Armory. Yeah, that looks sick. But there's much better armor. So not where it is. No, he's not, he's not doing chin-ups this time. I still can't believe it. A real live Prothean. <laughs> Doc must be over the moon. You could say that. I hear the guy that Primarch's got some real cojones. What we need are more politicians like him. Taking names and kicking ass. Alright, um, what shall we do next? So I've still got the Aria to Loke mission. What's my priority? Sir Kesh. Primark Victor's called for a war summit and has taken the unusual step of including the Krogan. Oh, so I've got that. But I feel like... Which one do you guys think... I should do next out of these ones. I could do Aria, Irun, Evola. Honestly, I, I don't love these the, the menus, the way that it's... They got. They, I know they've got priority and none, but I like how it was main and side in uh, Aspect 2. It was easier to read. I'll do the gun loadout when I am going in. It'll take... You can do it as you start. Desk is to the left where you can do your gun loadout. I mean, I guess, but... Uh... Save and exit.
What was the gun for? Which, which... That's where I got a new? And this is really good, you reckon? Assault rifle. I don't really like the SMG. What, can I take out the SMG? 100% slower power recharge. Do I, do I really want this? War Summit is a must stream. Can I remove this? I honestly don't care about it, I just didn't know if I could. Oh, shit. So I can, but having two good ones. Fuck. Will I be okay with just a shotgun and a SMG? Alright. So I still got minus 33%, but it's not as bad. Should be alright with these. Especially if they're strong and I've got a bigger mag on this. Alright. Fine. You take that. Yep. This is true. Uh. Put ultralight materials on. Oh, because they make you run lighter? That's what the materials are for. Uh, hang on. Particle rifle has unlimited ammo. Really? Limited ammo. I don't need uh, any light things right now, but now I know what they're for. I didn't understand what the lights were for. Oh, let's go um, combat information center. What? What did I press? I'm going to go there. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. Okay, let me save where we're at. Now, I've probably got one more mission in me before I am cooked because today's been a long day. Um, let's decide. So, I've got... Arya's requested a private meeting. Find her at dock 42. Arun. Should I just do a main mission with you guys and then do a lot of the side stuff when I'm off stream? Like, should I do... Should I do the war council now or is it too soon? Should I be finishing a lot of these ones? Yeah, but thank you, my man. Thank you, brother. I don't mind sudden if you don't think it's gonna affect my um my experience and I don't mind doing one more main one and then that way I'll do a lot of the side stuff for myself. Because the rest of this stuff, from what I understand, is all side important, but more side. Whereas the priority, I'm assuming, is the main main. Thank you, Howard. War Council is fine. Grissom Academy should be after because it's timed to Grissom. Yes, Grissom. All right. I'm going to do Grissom, if that's what you guys want. 
He's really good too. Okay. I don't mind doing Grissom. That sounds that sounds pretty good. Um, the only thing is, yeah, if these can be busy during the week, they probably should. Then I may not have done this, but if I have, that's fine. I'll, I'll uh, let you guys know what my choices were. Yeah, I can tell, Sutton. I can tell. All right. We'll do Grissom. Um, I'm going to take a toilet break. So everyone go bathroom if you need or do whatever you got to do. And uh, I will be back shortly. All right, let's go. We're back. Let's, um, I think I'm gonna use my blue blockers because my eyes are getting a little bit irritated by the screen because I have been using the computer all day as well. Chair charm gone. <laughs> Let me clean these. I haven't used these for a while. Let's see how we go. Hmm. <laughs> Clean it a bit more. <sighs> Should be all right. Do you use micro breaks every now and then to focus your eyes on something different? Uh, yeah, I don't, but I probably should. I should also be wearing these more, but I don't because I forget that I have them. <laughs> Alright. Put them in the right ears. Alright, baby, let's go. We're locked in. So Grissom Academy Investigation. Needs to be evacuated before the Reapers destroy it, but the ship coming to evacuate the academy faked its signal. I remember that. I think it was Cerberus was... It, sat, it was similar to when the elusive man uh, duped us with the collector ship. Oh, uh, the collector ship. But, but yeah, when elusive man... So I'm assuming Cerberus behind it. Okay. <laughs> Smartin's here, baby. Ready to go. See how we do. Signal confirmed. So I don't know, you're going to be um, at tomorrow's stream, just out of curiosity. I didn't actually check in to see whether we have, we have some mods there. I, I, I'll, I'll message in the Discord later, but wondering if. You will, okay. I mean, not that we have spoils or anything, but I don't know. Uh, Prothean, okay. 
if the Spartan enemies to help Spartan arrive, then you'll be there to take care of them. Asgard, they've got Asgard though. Um, rescue the students, that's the one, yeah? That should be the Grissom Academy. This, oh, they make that so loud. They make that so much louder than everything else, god damn. Right, baby. That admission of the John Grissom Academy is to serve a student. Anyway, I know this. Oh, dude, you know I've got to, I've got to use our boy. Now oh, the red suits him. Dark channel lift full slab vengeful. Yeah, like fuck, dude. You're one hundred percent. Surely I need to use this guy. True? Like Javik has to be here. Is he is he I'm, I'm assuming there's nothing wrong with bringing him? Um and you reckon Garrus? Instinctively, who would I bring here if it was I don't know who I'd bring here. My instinct is to bring Javik. I brought James last time. I almost feel like Liara or Garrus would have one of them two would have good dialogue. I feel like Garrus always has good dialogue, so can't hurt. We took Liara on the last one, I think Garrus deserves. Oh. Liara dialogue never fails, it's true too, but I'll do, I'll do miss my boy Garrus, I'll have a bit of these guys. Uh, hang on. Oh, shit. I mean, I want to see his head, so I don't like that, but it looks like a beast. The blue kind of suits Garrus though. <laughs> really love it. That is sick, not gonna lie. But that just, the blue somehow looks like classic Garrus. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. This is Javik, right? Yeah. Heavy pistol? Should I go some machine gun? Uh oh, I can't go some machine gun. Mad one. And then, why is my man Garrus using ancient technology? They should all use the other one, right? Okay. I think I've done that good. Um, confirm, baby. You should focus on this guy first. Plague an opponent with a persistent damaging biotic field. Lift grenade, lob this grenade to a group of enemies to send them flying. Pull. I mean, that just needs to be level one for now. 
Slam. I feel like one upgrade here could be good for now. Okay, now lift grenade has to be, and dark channel has to be uh, destroyed. I feel like dark channel, damaging body field. Yeah, I feel like this has to be increased. Increased power duration. So by 12 seconds or increase damage per second by... Oh, 30 seconds is pretty long. I reckon I'll go damage. <laughs> Sudden. <laughs> oh, shit. We are as good as a friend. I think nothing more. Increased damage. What's better? Overall damage increase? or increase damage to armor and barriers by 75%. So it's a bigger increase. I feel like 50 is a safer bet. You're gonna get 50 anyway. Liara is more of a pet. Oh, dude, man's got Omni-Man on us. <laughs> oh, dude, I know Sudden right now is hovering off that band button <laughs> heavily. Man's just called her a pet. Pets in the play style. I do like damage. Okay. Now I do like this lift grenade. I do like slam as well. Increase recharge. Okay. Lob this grenade into a group of enemies and send them flying. So what are the benefits? Increase grenade by one. That's pretty cool. And we've got three left. I feel like this is perfect. Let me just make this guy a tank. All right, baby. Sorry guys, taking a bit longer, but we're getting this. Now is his best ability concussion shot. Armor piercing ammo is pretty cool. Proximity mine, I don't really notice it. I feel like concussive shot is his best. Increase force damage to frozen types by 100%. Increase reason, frozen that, look. What are the chances of them freezing? So I gotta combo it up, that's if, he, if, if we freeze them first. Overload, really? I've been neglecting overload, okay. Touch down shields and shit, okay. Oh, I've been neglecting. And I've got two and I'm just waiting. All right, baby, I think we're ready. We're ready to go, big scenes. Can't believe we've got an actual fucking Protheum with us. That is mental scenes, I'm not gonna lie, that's epic. There's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight up fight. They must want this place bad. Cerberus is just snaking this whole wall. Let's hear it. SSV Normandy. This is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. Sickening, man. Shepherd. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? <laughs> oh, boy, can I? Joker's the man. Oh, my head's got, like, tension. But my eyes do feel a lot better now with these blue blockers on. I should have worn it sooner, to be honest. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Oh damn! Come and get me. These guys think they're gonna handle Joker. Oh, who are you? Who are you kidding, man? Holy shit! Joker's a beast. Gambit, thank you for the five star super chat again, man. Like the purple lights on your armor. Thank you, man. I like them too. We'll be back. Pudgy, you're still here? I'm surprised. Tread lightly, okay? It was Spartan approved the decision, therefore Spartan takes full credibility. Been here all night, shit. Commander, I'm locked in the server room around the corner. Server what are you up to, Pudgy? To What I want to use from him, Dark Channel seems good. And maybe. You tell me later, Pudgy, alright? Is your night going alright? Purple tells the peasants they are in the presence of royalty. This is true. Alright, Pudgy, great scenes. Oh shit! Oh dude! What happens if my gun overheats? Oh, it just replenishes. Dude, this gun's epic! I'm not gonna need another gun for the rest of the game. Maybe a better shotgun. But this disintegrates them, this is what I was needing. No worries, Travis, man. Take care of your family stuff. Don't stress, brother. Appreciate you, but just hang out whilst you can. Have fun, but uh, don't stress yourself out over it, man. Crushed by AD Robo. <laughs> Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations, working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes, we met, God, what's it been? 20 years ago when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. That's Good. crazy, dude. That Earth held up like long. Well, just tell him to stay alive. So when Saren betrayed Anderson, was that because he was already under Reaper control? Or was that Saren just not trusting humans? few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed, but the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Hang on. I've been Sorry, was the prick. Working. This is Frover. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hall. We've got this baby easy. The new assault rifle too. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. They've got no chance. Forget it. Where's? Oh, there he is. Where is he? Ryan Hall. So if I gotta go, I go this way. Have a look. I'll get the door for you. It leads to Orion Hall. What did Pudgy ask? What's his actual name again? 
But how the fuck? I don't know what you guys are talking about. Absolutely loving the playthrough on the channel as a whole. Oh, thank you, Danny, man. We appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much for your super chat. I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. Thank you very much. Oh, shit. How do I get there? Let me get there. I want to save that student from before. There may be more nearby. Play dead until it's safe, then get to Kaylee Sanders at security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too. We'll get your sister, man. No surprise there, Spartan. Spartan, you tread lightly. Who's that? Cooper Howard. Oh, she's asking about. She's asking about the ghoul. Yeah, Lawrence, we do. I that they. I don't want to confirm anything, but I believe that our plan is to, that that'll be the next thing we react to. We just reacted to Pirates Five this week and just got that uncut out on Patreon. And I think, uh, hopefully, if all goes well next week, we should be able to react to June part one and then go from there. That's the plan, man. Everything goes well. Hey, was I right? Um, was I right, Sutton? You fool. Okay, so I can't go this way. Hey, World's End is... Uh, Oh yeah, well Zed was really good dude. You'll you'll really enjoy that. <laughs> oh, this is their training, wow. Uh, Star Wars will have its day. Uh Josh, at the earliest we are looking at is the second half of this year because it's a big commitment and we've got too much too much like live stuff going on. Um, at the moment, you know, you've got Shogun, Fallout. Then soon we're going to have the boys and House of the Dragons simultaneously. It's too much live stuff. Once the live stuff lay off, we can commit to something as big as Star Wars. But it's good. We're going to amass, uh, amass a, gro a good army for those. And then everyone can hate me for my, for my Star Wars reactions. Okay. Not gonna lie, look, I can't speak too soon, but I'm probably gonna end up favoring June over Star Wars purely because it's newer made, and I know that I'll fall in love with the aesthetic and everything. Beside the fact that I've heard that the second film's phenomenal. Again, I don't wanna to talk too soon, because I don't always share everyone's opinion, but we'll see. June is good if you can't sleep. Oh, shit. No, we've not seen Star Wars before, man. I know bits and pieces. I played the Star Wars games. I know bits and pieces. Pudgy knows literally nothing. I know bits and pieces, like common things that get thrown around. Um, I won't say here for Pudgy's sake, but I don't know what the fuck the stories are about. Where are they? Oh, it gets stronger. Oh, shit. This guy is sick. It's what I want, man. It's what I need. Give me great weapons. Oh, the Eviscerator, isn't that the shotgun? I'm pretty sure I love the Eviscerator. Oh. Oh, yeah. 
What's better, the eviscerator or the skimmeter? Spartan gameplay through an Australian driveway? What's the thing with Australian driveways? They're not that bad. Huh. Now we've got everyone into debating about Star Wars. <laughs> They deal with different themes. And anyone want to answer my question? <laughs> um, skimitar or eviscerator? What do they do differently? Fire rate is better on the skimitar, but we sacrifice a lot of damage and accuracy. I feel like eviscerator is better. The weight means fewer power uses. I mean, yeah, but we're talking about six percent here. Is six percent really a big difference? Probably not. I'll try the eviscerator. Although I'm loving this assault rifle right now to care too much anyway. Jesse, welcome my man. Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. You are late to the party, but you're also here just in time. This water kind of nice. I'm not gonna lie, the reflections and stuff is quite beautiful. Oh, here's a girl. She's injured. We wish to save her act quickly, though it could delay us. Sean, can you hear me? How do you know my name? I saved your brother. He's with Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you. Okay, she's good. Gambit with another five dollar super chat. Damn, dude. Too, <laughs> too generous this morning. You can upgrade weapons to make them lighter and stronger on your ship. Okay, sick. Coming. Howard, welcome as a Spartan Project supporter, my man. As a channel member. I need to get you guys using... Um, none of the channel members use any of the Spartan Pudge emos. Look, look at that good selection of emotes. Could be better. We've got better ones on Discord, but I don't... I need, I need to convert, figure out how to convert some of them. Uh, shit, how do I close? How do I close the freaking chat now? Oh, there we go. There we go. Hamza has finally used it. Oh shit, we got some strong. Yeah, baby. Jack. Get those emotes going. Shepherd. Oh, what the hell? Jack looks way better. This makes sense to see Jack here, but she looks way better now. I didn't recognize her at the beginning. I love how she trusts us so much. Students are still civilians. We need to keep the heat off. I will come back.
Oh shit. Nice baby. Back up, Gareth, let's go. Surely not more of those fuckers. Jack looks much right. better here, I'm not gonna lie. Snapchat. I know I keep saying that, but I'm just amazed. Were weak. Cerberus isn't gonna lie down out of pity like that girl you took to prom. Grab juice and an energy bar. We move in five. <clears throat> Damn it. How many times did I tell you not to trust Cerberus? She fucking serious? I know you ain't pulling up on Shepard with the punch of the face. Cause I'm about to return that shit. Your gun doesn't affect mechs, really? Smack her back? I freaking would if I could. You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, you feel bad? Well, shit. I bet that's a big comfort to all the people Cerberus has killed. As charming as ever. Good to see you again, Garrus. It still looks like shit. <laughs> right now, all I care about is getting my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> yeah. I guess so. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well, I had some free time while you were off playing hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. And apparently the students responded well to my teaching style. The psychotic biotic. I will destroy you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Cortez to extraction team. The service cruiser is coming back. How long have we got? Two minutes stops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, sir. Holy shit. Seven Sanders. The students are safe. But the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. This isn't they'll say right. This How is just a uh... access get us off this station. We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. The cruiser won't auto-target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. Get me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep Cerberus from boxing you in. That also happens if you had let this mission time out. So you can let this mission time out? Should I ask what happens? You can tell me at the end when I, when I beat it. Hopefully we get to recruit Jack. I'm not gonna lie, I already like Jack more this... Uh, I already like Jack more this game than I did the whole of Mass Effect 2. She just irritated me there. She actually seems pretty cool in this one. I like the glow-ups. Love the glow-ups. Find Cerberus laptop. Oh, where the fuck? Can't go here. I haven't heard any talk from Javik, and man could fucking embarrass Jack in seconds. Jack better fucking watch next time she wants to slap someone. Sanders, you should have access now. Got it. The fastest way is through the atrium, but Cerberus has sealed the doors. You'll need to disable the magnetic locks. The overrides should be directly above the door. Hey, let me know when we've got a new way off this station. Jack's kind of, uh, she's kind of hot. Not my type, but she's kind of hot now. She was ugly as fuck in the last game. How are the students handling the war? How do you think? They're a bunch of teenagers. Until a few months ago, their biggest concern was getting laid. You don't think they're ready for war? 
I don't think they have a choice. So, all this talk about biotic artillery strikes. It's great in theory. Maybe they'll get it together once they've seen some action. But? They'd be better off as support. Put them in the back ranks, helping with barriers and shit. I don't know. Have you told them that? No. They need me to believe in them. I did pick up a few things listening to your damn speeches. Good. I have to say, Jack, you look good. Yeah, well, maybe some of your attitude rubbed off on me. I never had a family. And these guys... Anyone screws with my students, I will tear them apart. Shit. Cerberus is annoying. Pudgy is planning revenge. Oh. <laughs> Never thought he liked that look. Nah, Pudgy. That's what I said. She's not on my go-to, but... If you saw her last game to this game, she's massively improved. Like, she's attractive relative to what she was. She's not my go-to. Miranda's my go-to. Ashley of this game's my go-to. Um, that's about it. If I could throw a right hook, I would still after she she squared me up. She needs to fucking put it in her place, then we can be good. Yeah, I mean she's not as a preferred dress style, but what's so valuable about these students? Biotically, I mean. Well, What's scarier than a pissed off biotic attacker? A whole bunch of them working together. It's like a biotic artillery strike. Any asshole gets in our way, we rip him to shreds. Isn't that the kind of thing you wanted to destroy on Pragya? You know damn well it wasn't. Cerberus was torturing kids on Pragya. These guys are older and they volunteered and the only ones feeling any pain are the bad guys. Okay. Stay close. We'll get you out of here. Good. Fine manual overrides. They ain't giving me a lot to work with here. They just want me to find shit. Is there a clue here? I don't know, Lucy Man, I, th I feel like he thinks he's a lot smarter than he is. He's smart. But yeah, he definitely thinks. Got it. You should be able to force the door open now. I'll get to the shuttles ahead of you and get a pair ready to fly. All switch doors open. Honestly, it'd be cool if Jack had some interaction with this guy. Realized she was in the presence of a living legend. This man would embarrass her in seconds. I like Jack, but she's also arrogant. She needs to be put in her place a few times. I wouldn't have minded if the uh, Asari um, Samara put her in her place as well. Oh, don't take any risks. Do some damage. They know why this man can die now. Fuck. I'm play it safe. Just time your shots and stay safe. Oh, All to right. them. I didn't bust my ass training you so you could die now. Keep low, pick your targets. Students of Grissom Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. All they can do is get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be half. Asshole. Damn it, they're messaging everyone. Students, 
Switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if... what if they're not lying? You've already held your own against Cerberus. You've been trained for this by one of the best. Come on, Rodriguez. They're only asking nicely because you scared them in that last fight. So take your balls out of your purse and kick some ass. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yes, ma'am. Let's go, baby. Let's go. You're the Commander Shepard now. Huge scenes. We're about to fuck some shit up. The helmet off in cutscenes is so good. I, I'm, I'm going to get better armor soon. Hang on, this doesn't work against mechs, you were saying? It doesn't. Ready for action? I'll get my shotgun in a second. Get them to focus on that. Right away. Oh shit, they're firing at them. Oh, I fell down. Ah, oh, fuck this, dude, I fucked it. Uh... I just realized I don't have, um... Can I put incinerary on this gun? <sighs> Sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, the movement in this game really annoys me. I was not trying to roll, I was trying to get into the wall, and it just, it, the movement sometimes is really fucking annoying. And clunky. Can I stack it's an area on this? Like, does that actually work? Oh shit. Fuck. Too much going on here, dude. Oh shit. Oh shit, dude. Oh fuck. Oh, look at my health, man.
Wow. Oh my god, dude. I'm not doing well. Yes, Commander. The way he's out is sick. No! This so, is mission so freaking long, so when you die, it's actually a pain in the ass. Psych, man. Oh, there's nothing ever healed. Let's see if we're going shotgun. Shockwave needs more range, man. I love it, but it needs more range. Shit, dude. Did that heal me? That healed my shields? Tell me get around. Come this way. Call me, baby. Call me, call me, call me. Why aren't they coming on me?
Why can't this shit freaking... There we go, baby. Chuck's just throwing sword threats. back we didn't bring you back just to die my friend oh fuck oh no i can't risk it i'm using it anyway just in case the fuck is that i will comply That thing is OP, man. The fucking turrets. Oh my god. Yeah, that guy dropped right into my fucking line of sight. Wasn't his finest move. Shepard with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I didn't buy it from the last guy and I've got no reason to buy it now. The square root of 906.01 equals oh, him. 30.1. Hello, Commander Shepard. David, you know him? Yes. He rescued me from service. David looks really good. What the he hell? Here. He made it quiet. Man looks fucking good condition. Holy shit, he was mauled last game. You did a great job keeping yourself safe. The biotic students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. Okay. Uh, thanks. Damn, David. He looks better. I remember you. Normandy crew. Sorry. It was never your fault. Oh, he apologized, dude. There's no way he apologized, man. And the music's beautiful too. God damn. Has Grissom Academy been all right? Yes. I've been counting. Anything in particular? The number of days you lengthened my life. Oh, the shit. Security office. I hacked the lock. Guns. Lots of guns. Goodbye. Damn, man. I didn't think we'd... All the throwbacks in this game, I didn't even think, I forgot about it, I didn't think we'd see him. That's great, I love how your choices really have... Fuck, so imagine you left him there, he'd still be just experimented on. Oh my god. 
Was there any benefit to leaving in there? Like, do you actually get control of the Geth or anything? Lots of guns, I've got one gun. But we'll take it, I guess. If you leave him, you just pretty much get the negative outcome. So can I ask if I sided with Cerberus at the end of Mass Effect 2, would they be more on my side now? Like, would I be more working with Cerberus and against the Alliance? Oh, so Cerberus would still... Oh, so Cerberus snakes you no matter what you do. Oh, well, fuck Cerberus then. So he would have just made me redundant like he did with Miranda or whatever. He would have just said, thank you, you served your purpose as a tool, but we move beyond you. Affects something else, can't explain yet, okay. Fair. Looks like schematics for amp interfaces. Not as good as what we already have, but still worth a look. Can I get in this? Oh, I can get in it. Oh, bro, no way. Oh, let's go. Oh, shit. Why is this dumbass facing his back? Who has the power now, bitches? How is this fucking not dying? This suit is not very fucking mobile, I'm not gonna lie. It's strong, but it is clunky as shit. Shit, man got frozen. Shit, dude. This is pretty hard.
Oh. Which was a square arm. Now I got one of my own, bitch. Yeah. Several shuttles. Nice. Good night, Pudgy. Wait, it's almost done, Pudgy. It's almost done. Hang in there. But no, I got rest for you. That's fine. Kaylee, how's it coming? Shuttles are unlocked. Take the controls and get the students aboard. Wait, where the hell's Rodriguez? Oh shit! She always gets straggled behind. Oh, look at Shepard! Look at Shepard, man, waste no time. I love that Shepard's instinct was to smash the glass open, no hesitation. Like, I love that. Joker, we flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. Right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. Inked. Oh my god. What do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? Screw you, ma'am. I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. They're definitely ready. But the Alliance needs them in a support role. What? We trained for artillery strikes. We don't need another artillery unit. We need stronger barriers for our frontline squads. This is bullshit! Hey, if that's where they need us, that's where we go. Besides, I'm sure we'll get some shots in. Commander, we I was me looking out for Jack. She better pay that prior. Hey Jack, now that you're military, you gonna wear a uniform or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Screw you, f flight lieutenant. <laughs> what the hell was that? Jack promised to watch your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need from our teachers. What, does she have a swear jar or something? I bet if we empty that thing, we can afford another cruiser. <laughs> Cover your ears, kids. Hey, Joker. <laughs> Pretty funny. Shepard, damned if you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Good to see you too, sir. Sir? Anderson! I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give me permission to go all formal on me. I missed him. I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. That's more like it. Looks like you didn't waste any time getting to work. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus hands. They're definitely eager to help. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer. And we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. Hackett didn't mention in his report... Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack... Well... I've already lost a lot of friends. She asked me to tell you to stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks. Why well, don't I remember who that is? That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Kaylee Sanders, I don't remember that who that is. The hell? Kaylee Sanders. Kaylee. I have a characters one. Oh, she's the teacher. Oh, that's right. The what girl I just met. She's saying they got twenty year history. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, she wasn't that important, but there is. Oh, yeah, the Primark. I forgot about him. War terminal? War assets. Oh shit. I've never done this before. 
The people, weapons, armies, and fleets you've accumulated are your war assets. Do everyone render skeletons to determine how effectively these assets will perform in final battle? Total military strength minimum. Oh, I want more than minimum. Alien, 150. Alliance, 785. Crucible. Yeah, not much. Essentially, in this game, you want to do everything. So, it's almost time sensitive, right? It's almost time sensitive. So, that means that, what? They all would have died if I didn't do it? Yes, Commander. That's all. Of course, Commander. I love my ship. I love how like, I'm getting all the crew in it. You know, I don't know, just vibes. Good vibes. We're all together on this grand adventure. It's always fun. This one was time sensitive, so I didn't know that this was time sensitive. It's not time sensitive. Sudden's usually correct about most things, so I would, I would be careful about uh, going opposed to what Sudden's saying. Sudden's literally a walking Wikipedia. Yeah, certain that mission was time sensitive, I believe. You have to do it before some other missions or it auto fails. Damn. So they just all die. You never see Jack again. Dude, so many people would have gotten screwed over by that, I'm not gonna lie. I just got word. Everyone from Grissom Academy has arrived safely. We wouldn't have known about them if you hadn't caught the distress signal. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. Yeah. I don't know. Shit like that, it's hard to know sometimes. Because everything feels time sensitive when they're saying it to you and then you don't know what to pick. Oof, heavy. Worth reading, reading some war assets. Value of some assets are affected by choices in previous games. Okay, I will look to, look into that. You do kind of see Jack again if you don't do it. Okay, so she doesn't necessarily. If this is not completed before doing priority mission, can't remember what one. Cerberus captures everyone in the school and turn. Really? Yeah, I usually do side missions before priority missions anyway. But I clear them out. It's just more, um... That always bugs me in the games. <laughs> yeah, I know, Gizzy. I know what you mean. Shit. Very interesting. Well, I think I saved. Poof, that was good, guys. That was, uh, big scenes. I enjoyed that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty, um... I'm pretty knackered from, uh, a big day, but... Fuck, that was, uh, I enjoyed that, and especially the, um, uh, what was it called, Eden Prime mission, that was sick, the Eden Prime mission was, was awesome, that, um, just hit different, man, <laughs> that hit different, got to meet a Prothean, I didn't expect that, um, that was awesome, that was awesome, it is gonna be time for some sleep for the Spartan in... Approximately 12 hours, we'll be live again. This rarely happens, but we're doing our 100k stream. Um, so, I don't know what Pudgy means. Oh, hello there. I don't know what she means. Oh, because I did a big scream. Um, so, we'll be live in about 12 hours. Not everyone's going to be able to obviously make a time zone and stuff, but if you want to hang out with us, we're going to do a 100k stream. We are going to have some fun and just chill out with you guys. And we've got a few little, little things planned and just going to enjoy. So, um, if you want to come by, come by and hang out. The replay will be there too, so you can see what we got up to. But thank you, everyone who hung out today. As always, it's always a blast. Um, yeah, the main reason I do these streams is because I love the vibes. Like I, I also really enjoy playing by myself. So the motivation to come and hang out is uh, like just you guys are great. We have good laughs, good banter. You guys seem pretty passionate, so it's always a good time. Um, have a good day or night. Rest up and. I'll see you guys, some of you guys tomorrow, and some of you guys I'll see you soon. Kisly. Um, all right, Kisly, you're asking about cash prize giveaway. So what we're going to do about that is...